The term Redbrook University is full of snobbery and elitism, but not in the way that you think. Hey guys, I'm Jane, I'm a teacher and I've been guiding students through the complicated UCAS application process for years now. And I'm here to help you work out what these terms mean. What is Red Brick? What is Russell Group? Are they worth it? So first of all, we need a little bit of a history lesson. Now you know I normally teach science and math, so just bear with me for this. The first university was Oxford. This was established in 1096, which is like a crazy long time ago. Followed not very shortly afterwards, after an argument by Cambridge in 1209. A few more in Scotland and in Northern Ireland were established over the next couple of hundred years, but not very many until we hit the Industrial Revolution and the introduction of compulsory education. And then between 1900 and 1909, we get six new universities all at once. These were Birmingham, Liverpool, Leeds, Manchester, Sheffield, and Bristol. And they were built using the ubiquitous red bricks of the time, hence the name. They were set up with teaching the skills that were in demand at the time. So engineering, science, things that were needed for the Industrial Revolution. And their admissions requirements were much more broad, much more open than the admissions of Oxford and Cambridge. They still only admitted men, but it wasn't a collegiate system and they were much more open to people of different backgrounds and different religions. And the old school universities didn't like this one little bit. They really look down in these new six universities that opens up. And they coined the term red brick as kind of like a derogatory, sneery term they used to describe them. As well as the original six, Reading, Nottingham and Newcastle were also considered red brick. They were set up around the same time, so like the first half of the 1900s, but not in that initial 90th period. Red brick universities don't have like an official group or anything. It's just a random name to talk about a set of universities that were set up in a period of time, so like the first half of the 1900s. It's not like the Russell Group, which is an official club, they have a website, you can go and look at the website. Red Brick Universities is just like a general, colloquial, chatty name for a small group of universities. And the term Red Brick changed from being something sneery to being something good in about the 1960s. Because in the 1960s, a large number of new universities were set up. These were given the term plate glass universities um, because of the style of architecture, the very, very modern 1960s style of architecture that they predominantly built in. And then later in 1992, um, there was a large or a massive, massive increase in the number of universities where loads of polytechnical colleges or polytechnics turned from being polytechnics into universities. So then the term red brick came to determine kind of like this old guard of universities, the ones that are around for kind of like a while, the old ones. But all it means is universities that were set up between 1900 and like 1950. Clay Glass universities were set up from 1960 and like to like 1990 and then from onwards you've got loads of old polytechnics turning into universities. There are no advantages to going to a red brick university, it just means you're going to an old university but not a really really old university. 